ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We have a lot, we have a lot to talk about. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a minute. Um, my life has slowly been falling apart, but it's all good. Um, but today we're here to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that is me meeting Timothy Chalamet last Sunday. <laughs> uh, I just want to talk about that day and how freaking insane it was and how I'm probably going to die very shortly. So first and foremost, let's talk about how this even happened. I was in my comms class and I got a notification from the Beautiful Boy movie account and I haven't been checking them recently and it was that one time that I actually checked it that they were announcing a Q&A with Timothy and I have never bolted out of a classroom so fast. I literally whipped out my card as if I was like going into battle. And I first, first I bought one ticket which was my front row ticket, which you will see. I was front row in the middle, pretty great. Um, and then I remember my friend Bianca films Twitters. This is her at right here. And my other really awesome friend Cameron and her Twitters, no tears left to cry, but it's like abbreviated. Um, but yeah, so I bought tickets for them. And then I was in shock. So I went into class and I was fully shaking. Um, looked like I was having a seizure but it was all good um <laughs> I literally was so happy that I called pretty much every person that meant anything to me <laughs> so um that's how that happened so from there it was just preparation until Sunday because the screening was at 11 a.m on a Sunday at Playa Vista which is over by Culver City if you live in Los Angeles you know where that is but um so on Friday, I was like, let's all get gifts for Timothy because homeboy needs more clothing. He needs more everything. So me and my friend Gabri and my friend Dev on Twitter, um, we all put like a cohesive gift together. So I bought Timothy three pairs of socks. One has um, rocket ships, which I'll put a picture right here. One had uh, little bulldogs on skateboards because cute. And then another one was stripes because we're carry on Gabby and Bridges tradition. <laughs> and then Gabri, she sent me her money to buy him something. So she got him a yellow beanie that I picked out, but she wanted a beanie. And then my friend Dev, who's an artist from Singapore, she draws like amazing art. And so she sent, she scanned this art that she wanted me to give to him. And then I went, I work at a office supply store so we have like a printing center so I just had it like laminated and printed all professionally so he could I don't know put it in his room or something so we woke up bright and freaking early and we made our way to our destination so going into this my thought was we're gonna and the Q&A, Timmy's gonna walk out and everyone's gonna mob him. And I was like, don't want that, but I also really want to meet him. So I was like, worst case scenario, we don't meet him. I return the gifts, whatever. So going, to, my expectations were very, very, very low because I was just preparing to be sad. And then, so we're doing the Q&A. First of all, Timothy walks out and I literally crap my pants. So, but yeah, so he does the Q&A, talk, 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 talk. And once again, I'm at the front. So I made eye contact him, with him like twice and I wanted to die. And so it ends, right? And I'm sitting on the edge of my seat and so are the girls sitting next to me. They're lo lovely girls um, who are all on Twitter as well. And um, he starts walking over towards us. And I was like, okay, um, time to go. I'm, I'm a go, I'm a leave because I don't want this. But he comes over. And he first takes the gifts from the girl that was next to me. Then he comes up to me and he plops down, like sits down in front of me, which you will see in the videos that I'll attach in here somewhere. Um, he sits down next to me and then he starts asking me about the gifts and I go into panic mode and I just talk like an idiot, which you will hear right now. 
My friend uh, Deb, she's from Singapore, she drew that, so I kind of just framed it for you. And then we all got you gifts from Stay on Twitter because we miss you. So crazy. We do, yes, bro. We do. Are you guys all on Twitter? Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, um, wasn't a great talker, but <laughs> I was just very happy. I didn't want to freak him out or anything and be like, ah! like jittery i am in fact 19 years old I, I i need to control myself um but he was so chill and i don't know if you hear him but he goes man this is crazy like as if i wouldn't drop the money on him in general um so that was really cool that he was so excited to get our gifts and then i have tons of pictures that i will put here around me of him interacting with our presents um so yeah that was the gift portion <laughs> Then comes my legacies, alright? So, we're getting to the list now. Sharpie Girl. Many of you do know who the Sharpie Girl is. She was a fan who apparently Timothy took her pen by accident and she had a freak out and she's kind of a low-key stalker. So anyways, I'm the infamous person who was like mentioning her while Timothy was in front of me talking to us. <laughs> and the only reason, I wasn't trying to be malicious or anything, but the only reason I said that because the girl next to me Timothy was signing our stuff and I was like oh hey can I borrow your sharpie and she's like oh he took it and he was going down the line like signing things for everybody and so I was laughing and as soon as he's, he's still talking to us right he's talking about how he's going to Boston and back and forth blah 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 filming for little women and I'm just like oh like sharpie girl and like we laughed and then everybody took it out of context it was like oh somebody dragged sharpie girl I'm like no 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 see look at all these tweets right here all right these are all about me but yeah i was not trying to be mean even though she kind of irritates the crap out of me um it was just a joke a funny <laughs> so moving on from that legacy my next one is me telling timothy that we got to give him that coin and him not understanding what i said so basically this girl next to me and i were talking about how like we spent a crap ton of money to get the ID magazine with the interview with Harry Styles and Timothy and he's like oh my god man that's crazy and I was like we got to give you that coin like looking straight at him I said that and then he goes I don't know what that means but thank you and all of us were like choking because it's the most literal Stan speak word ever and so we were all dying about that so that's kind of something cool that everybody on Twitter keeps tweeting about which I'm famous now apparently no I'm not I'm, I'm really not trust me next on our list that we have to talk about are the pics that I got with Timothy so I don't know if you can tell but I have a picture of Timmy and me hugging right here so that's fun um all thanks to my lovely friend Andy on Twitter she was taking pictures of pretty much everyone interacting with him basically how this happened was the few girls next to me they were all like, oh, let's give him a hug. And so he just started, like, going down the line, hugging everybody. He gets to me and he goes, get in here. And he hugs me and I died because I wasn't even prepared because homeboy was moving. He was moving. And he hugged me and it wasn't some lame, weak hug. It was like, you're a friend. Let's hug. And I wanted to scream. Um, he smelled like actual roses and happiness. I'm not even exaggerating. Um... So I died in that moment. Here are a few, I think two pictures that Andy got of that happening. So there you go. Yeah, that was probably the best moment ever because I got to be as close to him as humanly possible um, in a respectful way, you know, not being gross or anything. Um, and that was amazing. I still can't believe it happened. <laughs> um, and so yeah, all of, I just talked to him and it was amazing. He was with us doing whatever we wanted for maybe like an extra 45 minutes from after the Q&A. And I can't even like, not even exaggerating, he's probably the kindest and most human down to earth celebrity ever on the planet. Um, and I'm more than grateful that I had a chance to meet him because I understand that it's very, very hard to do so. Um, 
But yeah, before last Thursday, did not think I was ever going to meet him, ever. So, feeling pretty happy right now. Um, yeah, he's amazing. And I have so much more content to show you, which I will probably attach at the end of this video. Um, but it was such a fun night, like, that whole day was amazing. I kept telling my friend Cameron, like, how thankful I am for her because had not she not wanted to go with me I don't know what I would have done because I've been very scared to go alone um but yeah it was overall the best freaking day of my entire life um I know you guys are waiting for the Suspiria red carpet um videos that I have I did go to the red carpet for Suspiria I also went to the Q&A that weekend for Suspiria with the entire cast and Luca Guadagnino who I am still reeling that I actually got to see in person um, but I will get those out as soon as possible. Very sorry, just had a kind of rough couple few weeks, um, trying to keep up with school and stuff. But everything's good now. We're doing well. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon in the next video. I'll try to get it out. Try, try, no promises by next week. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope Timmy, if you see this for God knows why, don't even know why you would watch this, um, you're the best. And I am so thankful for your existence. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stage and it felt like I didn't work the next day, you know, and it felt like, well, that was that experience. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like, wow, that was... It was gonna be hard, but that, that's what was um, difficult too. Like on other movies, you can sometimes look at the size, like the call sheet the next day, and you can kind of go like, "Oh, okay." Um, Dude, I, that was crazy. It was. What was that about? Like, I don't know. Apparently, we were like trying to impersonate Dude, you or something like that, no, but we Sir weren't. No, Sir Brian, come to the rescue. Yes, like, yes. Can they really, they really say that one Can you make it out to Pam? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm Is that you? Shaking. Yes. <laughs> I'm <laughs> also, I'm real shallow bay on Instagram. Not okay. that you care, but with an extra no. T. If you come back. Yeah, yes. if you come back. No, but on Instagram. Huh? You sound better. On what? Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram. Oh, but, yeah. I, but I'm on Instagram. With two T's. Yeah, you no, I'm seeing my fan page. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Also, my friend Tristan, her username is fake shallow bay. But she couldn't <laughs> come. Hilarious. And she's like really sad, so can you just. Say hi to her. Two, what was your name? Tristan. What's up, Fake Tristan? Chalamet. Thanks for thanks for being here on Fake Chalamet. Like <laughs> oh my god, right. thank you, Are you so much. Tonight? Are you nervous tonight? A little bit. I'm like just going oh, back and forth like we're going to Boston oh. right after. So Jesus Christ. I'm, trying to I'm so sorry. Like stay, stay oh, the Sharpie girl. Yeah. I don't Jesus know. I'm like too Christ. excited to be tired. Oh. So, I love that.